All right, guys, very important update today. Wow, this is Carlton Flowers, the Crypto Pro, coming at you with the Coinbase report. The purpose for this video is to show you what is happening right now. We are experiencing an altcoin bloodbath. So let's just take a look at the action and see what's going on. It is all being led off by Bitcoin. Bitcoin took this nice little dive. If you check out my previous video, I'll go into the details with my trading view post analysis. And this is on the 24 hour, nice little slide down to 5.65%, but that's not the big one. Let's look at all of the rest of the alts. Ethereum down 8.63% at 188 and 89 cents. We broke that $200 point and look at the dive. Wow. Oh boy. So we took a little dip here. Whoops. Let's get an arrow here. There we go. We took a dip, slight recovery, and then another one. And now we're experiencing a small bounce and it looks like all of the alts are following in this same pattern. Is this uh, bot trading activity? I mean, how would all of the alts follow this same pattern if there are independent people who are interested in these projects that are trading? Litecoin, $77.95. I didn't see that coming. I mean, I honestly thought that we would get a little bit more correction, but not like this. And here we have the exact same movement that we saw on Ethereum. A double take on the dive and a slight recovery. So... Wow, that's very, very interesting. At the low point, we were sitting at $75. Wow, how about that? All right, moving right along, let's look at some of the other worst losers. XRP breaking through a critical level that I will be shooting another detailed video on. Now, this one took a little bit more aggressive of a dive, at least on this chart. But we're not talking about a major drop. We're talking, what, 30 cents down to 26. In fact, let's just uh, hang on a second. Let's clear this and check it out. 29 cents. Okay, 29 cents down to the bottom here, which was, whoa, okay, that's pretty significant. 24.89. Wow. And recovering up, sitting at 26 cents. I did not see that coming. I honestly thought XRP would hold 28 cents as the absolute low point. So let's move on down the line. Stellar Lumens breaking seven cents. It was seven cents when I first started the video. Now we're looking at 0.0689. Basic attention token slammed 10% down at 18 cents. Wow, Ethereum Classic hanging on at $5.70. EOS, $3.67, 9.45% dive. Let's take a closer look at EOS and see what pattern it's showing. So we've got more of a straight one drop. There was a recovery, but then it went kind of right back down. So it's similar time-wise to when that medium uh, tick up before the last drop happened with Ethereum. So that goes right in line. EOS at $3.66. That is just crazy. Let's move on down um, and find some of the other ones that took a big hit. Ta Tron. TRX, the Justin Sun super credible Tron project. Justin Sun is one of the most credible people in the crypto space. That's sarcasm, people. All right, so it also took a dive, took a pause, same thing, same exact pattern at 0.018. Oh man, we have not seen this for quite some time, but this is why. I decided to jump, dump my bag of Tron back at the end of May. I thought this is kind of not a good point to be sitting on this with all of the shenanigans going on with Justin Sun's activities. Holocoin, 10.19% drop. Great project in my opinion, but it just looks like garbage. Same pattern, dive, slight recovery, dive. You see a pattern going on here? All of these are in lock step. Now, I held Holocoin up until the end of May. Let me show you what I originally did. Let's look at the year chart. I first bought into Holocoin back here. I think it was about 0.06. I sold my Holocoin, I think, at 0.19 after this peak. I decided, okay, 
I think that this is the end of the run. I got out for a triple. It was just a small amount. I mean, we're talking, say, 25 bucks and cranking that into $75. I don't risk a lot when it comes to these projects. Anything outside of Bitcoin, Litecoin, maybe Ethereum, you're running a big risk. Well, XRP, that's the one that I only... That's my biggest position right now is XRP. I'm not in Bitcoin because I'm watching the correction take place. Pundi X is another one. Nice project, but look at this price. Three zeros, 448. Getting murdered. Red coin, 13.89%. Wow. Okay, so red coin, I held for a long time from uh, 2017. Watched it go up like it was a 10X and uh, I sat on it. So I just kind of watched it float down. I still had it on the Bitrix exchange. I sold it out a couple of weeks ago, converted it to USDC, and then sent that to Coinbase Pro. It's hard to believe that this was at 0 .0047 back in uh, 2018 of August. And I tell you what, that's not even the all-time high. The all-time high is sitting here at 2.5 cents. Ridiculous. Now, will this ever experience another bump? It might, because we see that um, looking at the phasing, um, you have accumulation going on up to this point. You get your bump and then you have your consolidation. There's your markup phase distribution. So this is an accumulation phase right now. But will the project survive to cycle again? I don't know. And what worries me is that Bitcoin dominance is at an all-time high. And we don't know if people are going to make that shift back into the altcoin market. It's kind of like uh, the penny stock run of 1999. On 13 year cycles, we see the OTCBB make its runs. But 13 years after that, uh, after the distribution in the year 2000, the 2013 run, it was there, but it wasn't anything like 1999. And maybe, just maybe, the altcoin run that we experienced in 2018 was the the penny stock run of 1999 we might not ever see that again ken coin this is not surprising but look at that it got whacked 30 <laughs> it's laughable 34 percent down uh that's a zero so it's less than four zeros <laughs> uh, you can't even get a price on this thing that's kind of funny uh point zero 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 one four I think this one, stick a fork in it, it's done. After that SEC action, I don't know if this will ever come back. I sat on, I had bought in, uh, I was up 10X on this. I bought it in um, 2017 and should have sold at the 10X point and I sat on it. I had like 285,000 coins. It was 50 bucks at the time that I had bought it. So uh, you learn your lessons. Don't sit on gains. You should sell at the double point, get your money back out of the market, and let the less rest ride for free. So Bitcoin Diamond, 72 cents and 3.38. I've got my eye on this one because it just has an interesting chart. Whether it comes back or not, I don't know. But I do know that, uh, let's look at the all-time starting out up here at 50 bucks 66 or uh, 70 bucks 84 89 there we go massive distribution and it looks like just nothing happening after that point it's either accumulation or it's dead in the water worth a gamble all right moving right along looking at some of the other huge hits dentcoin is another one that's kind of interesting it actually has a interesting use case with cell phone credits and people actually use it it has a decent website um, but looking at the all-time high gracious sakes can you believe that this was sitting on eight cents 8.6 cents back in 2017 so very uh, harsh distribution and it's still sitting in accumulation and it's going down um, if you want a hundred bagger this is the one to look at definitely not financial advice if you threw 50 bucks at this thing just to lose it it might be fun if ever does this again it's one of the few coins that i could say might have a slight slight chance of bagging a 100x because it's it's useful it's doing something all right let's just move on right down the line bitcoin uh fake satoshi is uh, up 1.56%. I don't understand that. I don't understand anybody who even buys into this coin, this project. I don't get it. Uh, Omis Go, 
14.3% down, sitting at $1.16. Uh, Bitcoin, look at that. It took a bite, 9.04%. Zilliqa, Zilliqua, Zilliqua, however you pronounce that, it's, uh, this, this is not good. I had high hopes for this, but it's doing the same pattern as everyone else. Dive, take a breather, dive again, slight recovery. Very suspect, folks, very suspect. Okay, moving down the line, let's see if there's anything else interesting. Engine coin down 10%, steam hanging on at 18 cents with just a 3.87% dive, bite them. Boy, take a bite out of me, 0.078. Seven cents, not too bad, but 18.23% dive bomb. Look at these thumbnails. It's all the same. All right, so let's see what else we have here as we're bottom fishing on the less popular coins. Vest chain at 0.009. It's, it actually took a bump of 13.88%. Maybe that's everybody running for the hills at the same time into that one project. Ark, you better jump on Noah's Ark because you're sinking fast, buddy. All right, loop ring, 7.32% down, sitting at 3.6 cents. Newton, down yet again. 3.56% at 0 0.0025. Agricia, which... I said it all along, this one's going to give back most of its gains. You know, it had this massive run. Let's look at the uh, one month, look at the one year. It went from 0 0.0004. Me and my crypto buddies and the Crypto Pro group have been really commiserating about why we didn't jump on this before, but there's no way of knowing. From $0.08, cents, it's been chopped in half. I think we're going to give back all of this. It's not going anywhere. This is a nice, solid trend down. So... Nice little pump and dump there. Um, anything else worth mentioning? Silverway, 26% down. This is one of those new projects. I don't know what this thing is, but let's just look at the one month from $1.17 down to 20 cents. Eh, sad day for Silverway. Hmm. Well, that is the end of the altcoin bloodbath report. I just wanted to talk about this strange uh, very coincidental trading behavior of all the altcoins. Where does the money go? Where's this money going? It's all exiting from the market. Post your comments. I want to know your expert opinion of where people are investing their money. Is it sitting in Tether, the scam? Is it sitting in USDC? I am no longer using Tether. I dumped everything from Binance to escape before the US shutdown. And everything is sitting in USDC, along with my XRP, on Coinbase Pro. I'm waiting for the US version of Binance to be released. And then we'll watch this market and just see if we can find a bottom point. It's not looking like it's happening anytime soon. But once we hit a bottom, I might start to speculate on these coins again. So that's all we have for today. I'm Carlton Flowers, the Crypto Pro. Um, definitely, definitely not financial advice. Uh, be careful out there and check back soon. I'm going to have an XRP analysis coming back soon. And if you have a coin that you would like me to run some technical analysis on, I would be glad to do so. Post it in the comments below, like, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on the Crypto Pro Show. Have a good day. Peace.